Hello, welcome to Math Focus. 3 raised to power x plus 9 raised to power x is equal to 27. We want to find the value of x from this given nice equation. Let's see, 3 raised to power s plus 9 raised to power s can be written as 3 square raised to power s is equal to 27. Can be written as 3 raised to power 3 raised to power x. Now take note of this that if you have a raised to power m raised to power n is equal to a raised to power n raised to power m, this is equal to a raised to power m n. Three raised to power x plus three square raised to power s can be written as three raised to power s square is equal to three raised to power three to the power of s can be written as three raised to power s raised to power three. Three raised to power s plus three raised to power s square so let's bring this to this side minus 3 raised to power s to the power of 3 is equal to 0 let 3 raised to power s is equal to t t plus t square minus t raised to power 3 is equal to 0 Let's rearrange this. We have t raised to power 3 minus t square minus t is equal to 0. t is common. Let's bring it out. t bracket t square minus t minus 1 is equal to 0. There are two cases here. The first case. t is equal to 0. This is the first case. And from the second case, t square minus t minus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula. t is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. This is quadratic general formula. From this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, c is equal to minus 1. Let's substitute. t is equal to minus bracket minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 1. t is equal to minus times minus 1. This is plus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square 1 the minus 4 times 1 times minus 1. This is plus 4 over 2 because 2 times 1 is 2. This is t is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4, 5 over 2. Therefore, t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 or t is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. 
but 3 raised to the power s is equal to t. The first value of t is 0. 3 raised to the power s is equal to 0. Or 3 raised to the power s is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Or 3 raised to the power s is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Then from 3 raised to power s is equal to 0, we know that 3 raised to power s cannot be equal to 0. So we conclude that this one has no solution. Also from here, 3 raised to power x is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Then we know that this is positive and this is negative. So this is less than 0. Therefore, this one too has no real solution. No real solution. The only real solution we have is 3 raised to the power s is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. This is the real solution we have. Let's work on this. 3 raised to the power s is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Let's take the log of both sides. Log 3 raised to the power s is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. S log 3 is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Let's divide both sides by log 3. S log 3 over log 3 is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 divided by log 3. This one will cancel this. S is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 divided by log 3. And therefore, S is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 base 3. This is the final answer. If you enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.